As Dorian continues to strengthen, the city of Jacksonville is warning everyone to be prepared for potential flooding. Some areas of town are expected to get 10 to 15 inches of rain. Action News Jack's Megan Moriarty picks up our team coverage from Ortega Farms, where she spoke with a woman who says her home was flooded before and it will happen again. Underneath all of this undergrowth is a deep ditch, and during Irma, homes flooded. Now, with Dorian on its way, people are worried that it's going to be twice as bad now that all of this is here. This is the view from Wanda Shepard's home following Hurricane Irma. I had lakefront property, but my property didn't go up. <laughs> Despite joking about it now, she's worried for Dorian's arrival. With the ditch as big as high as it is and full as it is, that's a very deep ditch. The water will not drain. Shepard says she's reached out to the city for assistance, but has not heard back. Do you have a plan in place? Um, no, I really don't. Today, the city held a press conference telling people to get a plan in place for this storm. The plan is to mitigate if you're in a flood prone area. We asked the mayor why the city doesn't provide sandbags as most other cities and counties do. Our experts have just deemed that sandbags is not the highest and best use of resources in terms of protecting people and keeping them safe. He says the city's next briefing will be when there is a major development. Reporting from the west side, Megan Moriarty, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.